Hey everyone, welcome back to Remember This Tech. Do you happen to have one of these old Chromebooks laying around and you don't know what to do with it? Well, to me, these Chromebooks are pretty limited and that's the way they made them. This is an HP 14A Chromebook and it's got very modest specs by today's standards. It only has four gig of RAM and it has 32 gig EMC storage and it only has a dual core. Celeron 4000 processors. So they're pretty limited in what they can and can't do nowadays. Maybe you're just fed up with the Chrome OS. So why not breathe new life into it and install Linux like this. This Chromebook here has Linux Mint on it as you can see this background. So today, why don't you follow along with me and I'll show you step by step on how I got Linux Mint on my old Chromebook. And by the way, it's running a lot more smoother and faster as Linux and other distros can be very well optimized versus like Chrome OS or maybe even Windows. So I'll go step by step and how I did it. And keep in mind that you can probably install other Linux distros like Lubuntu, Ubuntu, Bodhi Linux, whatever your choice may be, depending on the storage space and the processor and RAM uh, requirements that it has. Some of this video was filmed with my phone, disclaimer, because I wasn't sure that I was going to get this to work and lo and behold, it did. So without further ado, let's get right into this. Come on, let's go. So the first step you need to do is to check compatibility. Before starting, I looked up my Chromebook model to make sure it was supported um, by Mr. Chromebox firmware tools. You can do the same at uh, HTTPS, docs, Mr. Chromebox tech slash docs supported device .html. So in order to do that, you're going to have to look up your corresponding for your Chromebook. Namely, you're going to look at what model you have and also what CPU you have. And this would be Intel Braswell. This is Intel Apollo Lake. And mine was an Intel Gemini Lake. I went down here, HP Chromebook 14A, and then it says Bloglet. Step would be to enable developer mode for your Chromebook in this case. For my Chromebook, the HP Chromebook 14A, you're gonna restart your device. Press down the escape key, plus the refresh, plus the power key held down, and this should enable you to enter recovery mode. Then press Control D to initiate the transition to developer mode. And once this Chromebook re reboots, you're going to need to press Control D again, and the OS verification off screen will continue to process. And then it'll have a countdown, for disabled boot verifi verified boot. But be aware, please be aware, that when you enable developer mode, it will perform a power wash, deleting all local files. So ensure you back up any important data on your Chromebook first, okay? To enter developer mode, you're gonna have to press the escape key plus the refresh key, which would be this, and the power. And this should uh, get me to the developer mode. So once you've pressed um, escape and then refresh and power, at the same time, get into developer mode, hit control and D. Hopefully it gets me in there. And this should uh, Now, once you've gotten into uh, this phase, keep in mind, we hit escape and refresh and then the power button at the same time. And then at the recovery screen, we hit control D. Then we press enter. And it's not gonna give you a prompt necessarily, but just do it in that combination. Then wait for the reset, which is doing now to get us into developer mode. This will take a few minutes, so have patience. And then that'll get us into developer mode in Chrome OS dev mode. And then we're going to take a few minutes. 
Once the Chromebook reboots. So once you're up and running, we're gonna disconnect the battery and start back up just on the AC powered only. And then we'll run the, the, the steps here. So the next step you want to do is disable write protect. You're going to want to disable the battery on your system. You're going to either have to remove a write protect screw depending on the model of your your Chromebook. In this case, I don't have one because mine's a newer device and it uses a CR50 um, which ties the write protect to the battery sense line. So power your device off, go into your device and disconnect your battery. Open up your device, just to disconnect it from the battery and then kind of reassemble it and plug in your charger and keep it secure. You're gonna to wanna to remove these rubber strips here that uh, cover the screws and remove both of them. Remove all the screws and then you're gonna use a plastic uh, wedge or maybe even a guitar pick. You wanna get under here so you can pry up the back plate and get out the battery connections. Once the back covers off, you're gonna to want to remove this protective tape and disconnect this battery carefully. And then you're gonna to wanna to put the back plate on, but don't screw it in, and then just start it up normally with the AC power only. If you set up your um, dev password by accident when you logged in and all that good stuff. If you enabled your dev password when you set up your system, you're going to want to log in in developer mode if you haven't already and enable the virtual terminal control alt F2. Then you're going to want to enable set login as root and this is the password test with four zeros, enter. You're gonna run, run this following command because if you set the dev password, you have to reset it in order to run the next step, which is running and logging in as Kronos. Run this Chrome OS hyphen set dev password, P-A-S-S-W-D, enter. Follow the steps to set the password for the Kronos user. You have to do this if you screwed it up or if you set the password or if you don't know what it is. Once that's set, you can log in as Kronos. Run Mr. Chromebox's firmware script. This is very important now. The Chrome OS firmware cannot be run from the root account. You shouldn't use control F2, that's V2. Do not do this. Do not log in as root. You wanna log in as Kronos. Hit the control alt T command. And when you hit the control alt T, it'll bring up the cross shell. And this cross shell is a command interface for testing and troubleshooting, etc. You're gonna to wanna to log in as Kron Kronos. You have to set log in as Kronos to do this next step. If you try to use root, it's not gonna work when you run Mr. Chromebox's script. It opens up a Chrome shell, cross shell. Type in shell, press enter. Log in as Kronos and you're going to want to go to the firmware script for Mr. Chromebox. This is exactly how you're going to type it. You can copy paste if you have access to the internet, but this is what you're going to type in. If you get an error, you can add the K to the end of L and O. It's an L O, not a zero, okay? And then hit enter. Once you do that, if you've done it right under the Kronos account, you will now come up with this interface tell you write protect or stock firmware 
if it's right protected. If it's right protected and you didn't do your steps right, it'll show up as red. And red means no go, right? You want it to be green, because if it says it's green, this means it's disabled. It tells you right here. Now, the next steps are very important. If you don't want to save your backup, your firmware from your existing Chromebook, you can go ahead and do choice one, install update UFI full ROM firmware, because this is going to basically wipe your old Chrome OS uh, firmware and you won't be able to restore very easily. But you can um, back it up as well. So I highly recommend you back up your firmware first, because if you don't, you want to revert it, then you're screwed. There, you can restore stock firmware if you want, if you backed it up. But I went ahead and did one, and one will install the custom firmware completely from Mr. Chromebox. Now, once you do that, it's going to take a while and it's going to wipe your system firmware. And that's what you want. That's why how you're going to install Linux or maybe even Windows. So, finally got here. And I will go over a few things as I do this, but that would be option two. And fingers crossed, I guess. Do I have to press accept? So selecting this firmware backup and that's from my USB stick which I had in there so it says enter um, um. now back to the install it's overwriting the firmware could take up to a minute and a half or more it says Highly important, you don't disconnect the power since the battery is uninstalled. The battery is disconnected and when it's done it should tell you it's done. The backup of your firmware that you did on the USB stick is probably good to keep that in case you want to revert back to Chrome OS. So it says about your first boot taking a lot longer. So you can press enter to return the main, main menu and follow Mr. Chromebox steps after. All you can do is do this and we ram clear and reboot and power off. Prepping a USB stick with um, an OS such as Mint or Ubuntu. As it said, the first boot is going to take a while, so you have screen life, and look, there we go. The firmware did work. Booting from internal EMMC failed, verify, blah, 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 because it's probably not going to work anymore, so we're going to continue, enter, and I seize Linux Mint, Linux Mint, so I put Linux Mint on here. It's a Mate 64-bit. Call it me, whatever you want. And I'm gonna hit install. Yes, this is a little bit big of a uh, distro, but if this works, then, you know, we can put Bodhi Linux on here or Lubuntu or whatever. Um, I think this might only have a 32 gig EMMC, but if it has a 64, it should be plenty of space. This is a 20 gig installation, but this works. We are rocking with Linux Mint. Now just proceed as usual with um, the install. Yes, Linux lives on the Chromebook. Yes, fingers crossed.
Quick Neo fetch. Um, here's all the stats. So Celeron N4000, two cores at 2.6 gigahertz max, and we're using Intel Gemini Lake UHD graphics. 1.5 gig of the 3.77 gig used, and we're running Linux Mint 22.1. There we go. Now does uh, YouTube browsing work? I'm sure it does, let's check. We're gonna try my video. Hey everyone, and welcome back. We're gonna to jump Microsoft. right to... Today's video, we're gonna be doing oh, a really short video. 1080p, and then we'll go maximum screen. Video, and it's gonna be specific, specifically testing Battlefield 6 beta. And we're gonna be using the system behind me, which features an i7, let see if we can jump forward here. FPS dropped to around 27.5 and the 0.1% lows hit just 8.4 FPS. And is running flawlessly on this converted Chromebook to Linux. So my final thoughts on this uh, Chromebook to Linux experiment for my uh, HP Chromebook. I'll tell you what, having Chrome OS on there kind of like hinders what you can and can't do. And personally, I don't like to be limited by that. If you own these systems, this Chromebooks, whatever, if you bought it legally, you own it, you can do what you want with it. And I wanted to say thanks to Mr. Chromebox for putting all these scripts and all these go-bys out there for an average person to use to breathe more life and usability into a Chromebook. Yes, most Chromebooks might not have all the greatest specs. You know, sometimes you can't upgrade the RAM and most of the times, you know, the storage is limited too. And the CPU cores. This Chromebook, mine only had two CPU cores, no hyper-threading, 32 gig um, EMMC and four gig of RAM. That doesn't mean you still can't use it in 2025. With Linux Mint on here or another Linux distro, you can breathe new life into your system and get more functionality and everyday value and usage out of it. Not to mention, you can uh, get updates, make it your own, put your own twist on it. Ubuntu, Lubuntu, uh, whatever flavor of Linux that's not too heavy can go on your Chromebook. And they even have versions that can work on the ARM processor Chromebook books. Not necessarily Mr. Chromebox, but you can do it through like Arch Linux. And I may be doing that coming up in another video where I take my other Chromebook with a MediaTek CPU and see if I can get Arch Linux on it. So if you're into that kind of content, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if, because you don't want to miss it. Thanks for coming along with me on this journey, breathing new life into this Chromebook. And thanks for watching. Remember this tech.